The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides round here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send sow buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, uh, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Slow now. Whoa. like Zed's inside, and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. They seek to burn the city down! <sighs> Nothing hurts as much as life. Uh. Scoundrel! Oh. Must be Zed.
find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps a ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Ism Grim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Not your lucky day. <laughs> Tiana from the Square Tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. They were looking for something. 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 Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan on it. Look at this. Zoltan. Get out. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Sure do you. <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan. Sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. Believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Besides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Billson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Billson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. Got no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. 
Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. It certainly keeps the camp there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Said Caesar'd never sell Fringilla. But don't you worry. You won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Chivi! Caesar Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish. And I do not come empty handed. Who's he? Well, him. Oh, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Not really. Mainly hunt. Good, that. One lion angler at the table's enough. Come on in. So what if it's handers or eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavour shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme... Get out! Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Excuse me for a minute. <laughs> Humans! Can they hold their Mahakaman spirit if their life depended on it? <laughs> Go on! And if you need help holding your hair back, give us a holler! <laughs> so, when are we gonna go noodling for ca Drawers open. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Here's Fringilla. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Vatier de Rideau's dagger. A set of Aranahid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Joachim de Vet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. 
excellent condition. Portrait of Emperor Amir, Temporal and Wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Zoltan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, hot to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? A kill for your man! That she yeah. bore you! Explain this to Cleaver. I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Triss is no longer around. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. How about that? It's the flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? I got no use for Ravi. This witch is no fun. Oh, I got you clean. <laughs> Sultan. Ha! Seems we'll make it before the King of Beggars buggers can get me. Come on. I arranged to meet the buyer at an old brewery. 
He'll be delighted to see we've got all the cards. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind. Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. Oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beggars out of my beard. Best not cause any trouble at the end. The folk in this city. Racial hygiene is as poor as their personal hygiene. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Drowners. <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I never managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick! Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontan.